Hello, my name is Christopher and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Plex on Cosmos Cloud. So Plex is a media server, it has live TV and you can store videos and stuff on it. So um, so Cosmos Cloud is a running Docker containers uh, securely through DDoS protection, rate limiting, proxy built in to where it don't actually go to the real container. It has a proxy in between so you can uh, limit access. It has user management, different things like that. And uh, a little bit about the series is I'm gonna start home, a home lab from scratch. So I'm gonna go over installing things to getting things running, everything like that. So if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And this video was suggested by a viewer. So if you have suggestions, uh, comment below or join our Discord and put in the suggestions. And um, so let's get started. So we're going to start with a fresh install of Cosmos Cloud and um, I'm going to start on the home page. It says no apps available. So now you're going to go to market right here and then you're going to type in the search box Plex and then they have a Docker Compose set up for you. So it's using the Linux server Plex. So that's a good one to use and we're going to press the install button down here and then it's going to set the service name as Plex. It's going to put the uh, the movies in USR uh, movies and then USR series. And it's going to set a host name um, and put the IP, uh, put the port on it, set uh, 7200. And then it's going to set environment variables. It's going to set up the uh, volumes and the binds. And the volume right here is for the Plex config. So now that that's explained, so I'm going to go down to the next button on the bottom right. And here you go. It puts a JSON object together to where it shows you what it's going to do. And I'm going to press create. And then it says service uh, created up here and service started down here. So that it did successfully install. And now it's wanting you to refresh the page. So now once you refresh the page, you will go to um, serve apps. You'll see that it is started and you'll see a Plex right here. You can see where the image is at, the ID, IP address, if it's healthy. This is if the proxy sees that it's healthy and the, uh, the Docker container as well. And here's the URL down here. And you can go on the URL and you can see that uh, Smart Shield is on, everything's enabled, throttling, and timeout is enabled. Then it's it's proxying to Plex uh, 32400 right here. And then you'll see that the setup um, Plex, and then it's exposed Plex to the web, which is not. It's exposing locally with the IP address. And then container name, and then container port, and then HTTP and then we're going to use the host and Smart Shield is on. And then we can say update and then a refresh. And you can go back to the serve apps. You can see that it does have logs and you can see that it is up and running and it has a terminal and you can see the environment variables right here. And you can see the network that we're using default and then IP addresses, uh, uh, ports I mean, the ports 1900, uh, uh, 3005, so it goes on and on. So these are the ones exposed. And um, now you can go to storage and you can see the volume and the bind that it's created. So now that is explained, so we'll get to the UI now. So now since the Plex is installed and running, um, you'll see an icon right here. Now on the home page, if you want more info down here, uh, you can go in the configuration and you can go to um, show application details on a home page. And then you can draw all the way down to save and then refresh. And then you can go back to home and you can see where it's going to or what, where this proxy is going to. So now we will go into the URL. Now you'll see this XML right here and um, 
then you'll just go over to here and then you'll type web on the end and then you'll, you'll see that it does require HTTPS to be used so we'll go over here again and we'll put HTTPS on it and then here you go it's starting up and you can sign in to your Plex account so I'm gonna sign in real quick and then I'll be right back so now once you get signed in and um, it'll say how Plex works Plex is a media server runs on computer where you keep your all your media. Plex scans your media, automatically organizes it and makes it beautiful. Play your media on any screen with your favorite Plex app. So now you can go say you got it right here, this button, and then it'll show you the Plex Pass, which is their uh, their upgraded version where you pay a monthly, yearly, or lifetime fee. And then you go exit right here. Now we're going to give the Plex server a name so uh just name it plex and it'll allow me to access my media outside my home you can you can turn that on or off then i'm gonna press next right here and then once it's good it'll move on to media library so now it should come soon okay now plex organizes your media in the libraries you can as as many media, uh, as many libraries as you want, and you can have multiple libraries with the same type. And you can go click in here to add different libraries if you want to. And you can press next, and then all set. Your Plex media server is working hard to find your media. It makes it beautiful. Grab your Plex app from favorite devices to get the most out of Plex and start streaming anywhere. So you can go get the apps, and I'm gonna press done. Okay, now it's open and it's running on Cosmos Cloud. So I just showed you step by step on how to get Plex working on Cosmos Cloud. This makes it to where Plex is more secure and it's behind a proxy uh, with rate limiting, DDoS protection, everything like that, and Smart Shield. Um, so if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And also, if you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. So, and also, uh, feel free to suggest videos. I'm always looking for more suggestions and uh, to help more people out. So, stay tuned for more.